around the world. Big thing to remember here on Shall We is that what you see played here right now. Life, Ace, and hearing you say Laser Gate apparently is one of them. But Doki's having some joy of his own, bringing now Nora Durza following Survivor it. 1 versus 4, that may well be a different question. There's one coming down Solar Stairs, some bullets come in, secretly going to strike true, and Na'Vi win that first round with quite some comfort. Secretly coming in without fear. Two kills on the round, I think it was for him, and a great, it's not too, uh, not too far distant, but Teams like, <laughs> oh, 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 that's it as well. This is looking good for Na'Vi so far in round number two. Time and time again, just picking up bodies to add to his head count. And it's, I think this is something that Fluke actually touched on in the pre -death. Two and zero after two rounds with the 60 seconds remaining to pick off this sole last player. Saves is at the window. Down. Like this, Durza stepping up and finding a 3k. It's not the first time he's done something like this in a particularly important game. In the first one of the season, always going to be down as an important one. But just waking up and thinking, right, round number five. Yep, sounds like a great time for a 3k. Steps up and achieves the wonder Into need. the main lobby before he was challenged by that stun grenade from the Zafia, but Chaoxis is going to be able to take down Blur, leaving us now in a four Oof. versus two, four versus one, as Noura gets back in on the action again. That's a triple on the round. This could be a 4K for him. Okay, last man alive, last hope of Navi here in round six. Manages to find one. He's second on the round. That's going to be Blast taken out. Even more hit points removed from Doki. And finally, he's the close in. The pressure will mount. Saves. He's just looking to hold them out of Wine Cellar for the time being. Durza finds a headshot onto secretly. 30 seconds left to go. Still time to play with here, as you say, but 30 seconds means not a lot of chance for mistakes unless they can finish off these members of Na'Vi. Saves almost went down, but he turns the kill onto Durza. Two versus two, they come sprinting in. This is what we talk about when that clock is starting to run to zero. Chaoxus is by himself, diffuser in hand, but has got to find these last two members. He's got 10 seconds to do it, and then he's got to turn it into a win. He finds one, but look at Doki lurking here, just waiting for that diffuser to start going down. He's down in front of a camera. He's got to hit the butt plant button right now get it down down it goes but no time left all too easy for doki to swing it at the last second after being a wrap for the entire round does it get to kill back about 20 seconds later but straight away blur is there ready for the trade he's even turned it into a triple kill will finally go down but navi collect round number nine with doki closing out the series the way that he started it with that kill to bring them the first match of eul 2021 solid performance the thing is there's we're not just talking about the three points there that is a really great start to Fanavi, it really um, Pixel as the power position, you would, you would say, right? Like, there's a shield, there's uh, an ADS, there's a couple of my magnets right finds one, swings, tries to get the back cover onto Milon though, but they can't quite get the deep shot all the way to the bakery. Oh, it's they can. Dan is the man that's able to find the plan, and now they have the cover deep and buried. They're putting the diffuser down <sighs> inside sink, but Rask is the man that's on top of that with no time left. Virtus Pro! Got the kill they needed to. Put pressure on the opposite side. Karjeka is able to put another body down. It's a three versus two all on the top floor. They get aggressive and Dan picks up the trade. A two versus one. 13 seconds. Karjeka has a rough idea on where one is, but Shepard has an overwatch. Just moving in there with the sniper. Seems like they were aware indeed, as you see. Move actually didn't spot him in first sight. Skip it, but there's a drone, there's a ping, and there's a second Virtus Pro kitchen. Wanted to go for the plan there. All your Down team. Someone else fills in on the closer side. Pre fires round the wall. Dan is round a corner to safety. There's a drop of Intel. There's a drop of an Ash. Ah. And there's a four versus three with 20 seconds left. User in goes for the long smokes to cover any movement. Doesn't cover that though. Side the swings onto one. WTG and Milon with revenge apiece. Two versus two trying to stick the diffuser. But there's a rotation around the back stairs. Milon has to find one more. Oh. Knows no. Couldn't quite hit the Angle. shot. A quick pick up rotation and pop and. Doesn't oh, quite delay. catch it. A sliver too late. Milon finds the kills in the meantime. And Empire put a lot of faith and always didn't quite have the setup. Goes for the frag and, well, gets one. But it's a one versus three after a trade and a drop. The angles are a bit concerning. There's two lying close on the right. One of them swings and takes it. And Virtus Pro find themselves on map point first. You saw him seeking for confirmation right there from one of his teams. Are they right here in the smoke? With the SMG to try and get control of the body that's rotating around the small prep room on the opposite side. But with Freezer under pressure too, they can't quite take it. Pasha pulls it together and Virtus Pro pull the two points. 
Fipe got the opening frag. Yes, of course, afterwards, we saw a little bit of a change coming in. You know, we saw the refrag from the exact same position, but again, it was replied on to... A point in 75% of the rounds I've played in. So it's a very good indicator of how involved I've been from a team perspective and hungry to an attack down on the basement is to get multiple avenues of attack. If you try to move in from one location, you stand very little chance and standing very little chance right now is BDS Jeez. as Vitality absolutely demolish them, Des. They take them apart one piece at a time and they leave them in the dirt excellent execution coming out from vitality the amount of 18 time 18 seconds left to do something with this because of course it will oh take them Come on. seven seconds Ooh. for a successful diffuser disable now ranchero manages to find one can they find the second it's shinka he's fighting he's got six seconds left to survive he's just keeping himself alive but no shut down and it's going to be bds that get the win to just try and place some attention from BDS. However, what a great attempt by Breedy to move back in. Gets himself two, but shut down by Cactus. Three versus one now. 13 seconds left to go. Vitality have to do something. Alem, he needs to survive. He's crouch walking around. Can he find one? Shots will no hit by two. He's got two. He's got the diffuser down. Alem is surely going to do this. No! Bibu in, in the nick. It's now down to Alem to hold down blue and ensure that Vitality don't take control of that area. Rise. He's going to look to join, does get the trade three to three now as Bibu drops in. Trying very carefully, checking his angles. He's going to find one in Mortar, so he's thinking about the switch to the shotgun. We know it can be deadly in this area, but at the first challenge, shot down from the hatch. Cactus causes it out, Vitality. Five apiece, and there's only going to be one opportunity for one of these teams to win in regulation time, does. Mm. Left to go. Shaiko finds P4 with a headshot. That's another two on this round. Four versus two. Bibu fighting back. Seven seconds left to go. Vitality have to make a move here. Cactus has diffuser in hand. Shaiko, oh. however, says no, not today. 4K in the Something round. coming in this game. They were running the clock down. They were giving BDS something to think about. But as the match wore on, BDS only got better and better. And this is the start to a season. Okay. Kvana are from Germany, but the team itself grew from the UK scene the once UK. upon a time they were called burning foxes was how they situation but it doesn't seem to matter as Grizzly just starts to repel in hoping to pick up a couple of kills right here finds the first head but instantly downed by rips right after bringing it to a 3v3 situation yeah it's a good versus two with Gorgona able to drop their way in and the pre-fire takes care of Corey swung on the corner crying looking for revenge and finds it a one versus one but the pings are consistent Ryan, he drops away chasing oh. the man with a shotgun trying to cut him off and there is Gorgona Man, this was such a chase. They're just like, you see the laughs right there. You see the smiles as they managed to get that round. But they also realize how close it was. We'll go down. However, Gogona will receive some fire in the meantime. It's going to be put under quite some pressure as he gets one kill, two kills, maybe. It's going to be taken out eventually. Grizzly is going to be able to pick up the final two kills right there. And Kavana are winning the next round. Again, taking the top four right here. And that shows that... Pulls further back and Corey wraps around pillars, waiting for somebody to hop over. There's Sloth, there's a grenade, there's Sloth, and there's the Lord Leon making sure his land is uncontested. And Corey swings back round from pillars. Trying to find a safe place to plant behind the books, but they're not quite bulletproof, and the timer is going to catch Gorgona oh. with the double! Beautifully played right there. Knew that he had to cover from the white side of the map first, as that was the way that it was. It might turn into Beagle. Gona finds one. There's Leon swinging in, but gets traded by Grizzly. Swinging up the stairs. Corey, low health. Sees one on the top of the staircase, but with only a handful of seconds, won't even get that. That is so painful. Crying, getting it down with the skeleton key, but not the next shot due to the disconnect. Just imagine the timing on that, right? You, you said. Steady descent starts to come through, and Grizzly finds one, and Anarchic finds two. And really, things aren't lighting up in the guns of Rogue already. There's the Ashendi Sophia got taken down at the very instant. Same time, and Asoth now picks up the kill and to rips it all up to Leo now. Manages to get one for his efforts. Hopes to go for the ace clutch right here. And if he manages to pull it off, it will be a very big play. A very lordly in play, so to say. But he will be taken down from above. Sloth gets the final kill with the pistol. You can see how happy they are. It's the first game in EOL. It's the first win in EOL. A team that will continue this. The smiles are rampant.
but so was the play. And a 7-2 showing. Make cover yeah. for Windows to ensure the rest of your team can keep themselves busy on the repel or whatever else needs to be involved. Those two bands, though, are really, really interesting. Both Position at this minute on the sledge. He's going to take a chip damage off a of Gonfi, and that is Diffuser planted. Now, this has just become one of the hardest retakes in all of Siege, and you're about to see why as member after member of Team Secret just drop one to another to the G2 bullets that rain in through the garage double door uno finds prano four versus one citizen to finish things off from yellow stairs and what a but as they are pushed away kayak has the opportunity to get in there he's going to be kept safe by the keys there he's about to play a tune for them as he steps out and gets a double along with citizen and uno how have g2 turned this around they just to find the kill onto uno but that does not take away the problem that is above him that citizen he's looking to make a challenge citizen once again the butcher of the top floor shuts him down and that's going to be g2 taking another round unbelievable and i know we said we wouldn't run time kayak's taking a lot of damage now virtue will get himself down not sure whether he's going to be picked up or not he certainly Oof. won't as slevin hits him with some of the explosives hive gets him with one for himself onto kayak and very Bono backing away just by a couple of pixels to give himself enough room to be able to get back and breathe brings him down finds a double kill it's all on citizen to do what he can he finds one but in a one versus three with five seconds to play i think we all know exactly how these rounds conclude it's going to be a three three split at the half you probably sit here and say that's okay. It's great. It brings you... I think it brings a lot more gunfights. People seem to defend the downstairs in the basement. They just seem to defend it a little bit harder. Top floor, it's a bit of a habit to sort of drop away from it and give that position up. Um, but it gets to be a bit more tooth and nail down in the basement now. Citizen, Ooh. he's going to get finished off there. Gonfi just going absolutely wild on this round. Draven finishes Kayak off, and that is a good round by Hive. Planted in an off spot once again, so it wasn't a case of an easy vertical called Denial, Gonfi gonna shut down Kanto, leaves us one versus three, Prano picks up Kayak, trying to do everything he could, but it was just too much to ask, and that is gonna be another round going to Team Secret, they've now got themselves a little bit Uno of breathe. with a kill onto Prano, Uno coming here, is he gonna be quick enough, he starts to put the damage oh, down, but no, Uno. the diffuser is planted, two versus three though, the question is now, can Haif escape, Uno gets the kill onto him, Citizen backs him up with a Nitro onto Draven, we are one versus two, it's all down to and he has to defend he's oh on God. citizen takes a lot of damage he no! has to hit the head he can't Sleven finishes it off and team secret they take the win in play day one he would have been killed from afar anyway i completely get it but the fact that you put yourself in a position like that where you maybe with another slither of a second would have got enough bullets into the planter to close him down and